You know, a lot of people have asked me why it is that so many soldiers in the Israel Defense Forces smoke. Indeed, I used to ask myself that question. I remember, for example, 10 years ago during the events of the Second Lebanon War, that an urgent call went out to all soldiers on weekend leave that they were to return to their bases because, quite frankly, all hands were needed in the war effort. And I was stationed on a base in the north called Yiftach, and it fell upon me to carry out guard duty at the entrance to that base on this particular evening. And hurtling towards me, there came a returning soldier from his weekend furlough. He got out of the car, he embraced his father, they parted company, he stepped into the base and pinched a cigarette from one of the soldiers, lit it up and then turned around the corner and joined the brigade. And there came that question back to me, why is he smoking? I'd been raised to understand that physical fitness was important and it struck me and seemed to me that smoking flew in the face of staying combat ready. A few days thereafter we were deployed into Lebanon and I became very acquainted with the realities of war. I'd seen the suffering and I'd seen the hardship, I'd starved and I'd dehydrated, I'd felt the weight of my equipment bearing down on me as I carried it day after day and night after night. And every so often in a war zone you get given the opportunity to just be alone with your thoughts and the cigarettes come out. And I remember not being a smoker, but putting my hand out nonetheless, grabbing hold of one of the Marlboro Reds that was offered to me, putting it to my lips, taking a very, very long, hard drag on that cigarette, thoroughly enjoying it, and suddenly finding the answer to that recurring question of why it is that soldiers in the IDF smoke? And the answer is very simple. When you're being rocketed, when you're being bombarded, when people are shooting at you, and when you're suffering the hardships of war, you realize very quickly that after all, it's not the cigarette that's going to kill you. But I still say, do not smoke.